Welcome back everybody, so here we go, another video, and today we're going to cover your Android TV, your Nvidia Shield, all those Google Chromecasts, those sort of devices, the settings you should be changing or turning off and getting rid of, including one which stops them tracking your data and monitoring what you are doing on your device, so that's an important one, a few others are recommendations, plus at the end we will show you how to open a secret menu of settings where you can do many, many more things to make your experience better and the system work better. Brilliant. Before we do that, if you are new here, do remember to hit that subscribe button. We have loads of Android TV videos, um, whether it's setting up applications, whether it's adding applications, whether it's speeding up your device. Plus we've got other streaming ones from movie apps to fire sticks to other streaming devices, including Roku as well. So remember, drop me some comments underneath and let's get on with it. So how do we get into our settings? There's a few ways. You can either push the three lines button if you've got this remote or top of your screen go all the way across and you have your settings option here in settings on the latest updates on android tv there's not many options on your initial start bit. you've got a few quick settings and then you've got general settings so we're going to go straight down to device preferences in here is pretty much everything you need okay all what you need and the first one we're going to do is the most important one you're going to go down and you're going to find usage and diagnostics as you'll see mine is turned off you want yours turned off as well automatically send diagnostic information to google like crash reports and usage data from your device apps and chromecast built in so they want the usage data from your apps they want to know what you are doing on your apps they want to know what you're watching you can adjust these permissions at any time for any device settings you can go online to adjust but what you want to do is simply it'll be like that just turn it off okay you don't want that one on Okay, that's the important one done. Now let's just go through a few and um, where we've got a few different settings and we can really make our system run that bit better. Display and sound. Display and sound is a very good one where you may want to have a look at. If you have specific issues with any resolutions, you can change in here. The default is there. Obviously, 1080p 60 hertz would be actually better for my monitor I'm on, but these will actually depend on what you are plugged into. So not all of ours will be the same. So do make sure or just leave it on default. You know what you're changing there. AI upscaling. I find with a lot of AI upscaling that it can affect your audio sync and a lot of the colors because sometimes the TVs upscale as well as the device itself. So I just leave it on enhanced. I don't actually use the AI enhanced personally. Um, and I leave these two turned off underneath. Completely your choice again on this one, but this is what I found works the best on the device. Uh, power control so power control means it will turn your tv on if you want it to so if you push your power button you can make it wake up the tv um all of this sort of stuff again that's a great little setting this one is one of my pet hates okay i hate it on the fire stick i hate it on the roku device and i hate it on the video shield or android tv as we are covering system sounds i hate any sounds which makes a noise when you're moving around with your remote I hate anything which makes a noise when you load something. System sounds, I turn straight off. Okay, next up, system. In here, you want to make sure NVIDIA share is turned off. Um, that just uses up a lot of resources if it's sharing, so it gives you the option to actually share stuff you are doing. No, thank you. Okay, I like LED brightness at high processor. Obviously, I want it on max performance. I want it to be doing the best it can, but you want your fan on quiet. Okay, personally, I want it as quiet as I can. I don't want to be hearing a fan on my device while I'm trying to watch a film. Here, you can if you want to, but again, if you're not using them regularly and you don't have anything plugged in, you can happily turn them off. So it does save a little bit of power. Storage, again, not a lot we can do in this one. This one does depend if you have anything plugged in or not. Um, again, if you haven't got anything plugged in like myself, I don't need the extra storage. I leave them turned off. Home screen, in here, you can actually customize your channel so you can move around all your apps. So you can do that down the bottom by reordering apps. Um, the things I would definitely turn off is video previews and audio previews. This stops it previewing up really fast with the video you're over the top of, um, can come on really loud. The Fire Stick does the same thing. You need to turn it off on there as well. It's really annoying. Um, again, and that can, when you're trying to do something, it suddenly starts playing content that you don't want to see sometimes if you're just scrolling past. So you turn them off. Okay, they're so annoying and I always have mine turned off. 
Keyboard is keyboard. Date and time is date and time. Language, again, not a lot we can do in there. Personally, I should be on there. Simple as it is. Okay. Google Assistant. If you like Google Assistant, leave it on. Um, it can help if you do use the voice talk, things like that. Again, I'm not massively fussed on Google Assistant on my Android TV because I don't want it recording what I'm actually talking and telling to it for its adverts. Screensaver. Again, you can have it off, but actually I prefer like the longest time on a screensaver because a screensaver can kick in. And then when the screensaver kicks in, you then have to get it out the screensaver. It's going to be running resources in the background. Energy saver is quite interesting. Turn off display after 20 minutes. That's fine for me because I am one who forgets to actually turn my device off. Um, allow turning screen off during media playback. No, um, especially if it was playing a movie or something. I know it's mainly for audio, but I like to leave that switched off. Location, status off. Um, I don't like anyone knowing my location, especially these apps or Android or Google. This is a bit more useful on a phone where you use Google Maps or if you wanted to track your phone um, or if you lost it, but you don't need location status on a device personally. Usage diagnosis we did. Um, the rest we're going to leave. Pretty much there's not much we need to do in there, but what we're going to quickly show you is how to get the hidden menu. If you click on about and then go all the way down to the build, click on this build seven times. And as you'll see at the bottom, it's telling us you are now two steps away from a developer, one step away, and boom, you are now a developer. So when you go back to that last menu we were in, if you go all the way to the bottom, you now have one called developer options. In here is a lot of different options. We're gonna cover a lot of this on a separate video, so do make sure you subscribe. Um, do not go in there playing with stuff you do not know what it is. You can actually break your device or make it very hard to fix, shall we say, by changing things in this if you don't understand them. So these aren't all to be played with. There is a system right at the bottom under, if I can get all the way down there, under drawing. So that was the section drawing. Here we have animation scale. I've got a video I will link directly underneath for you. That video, that video we done here, um, here, it makes your Android device much, much quicker. It makes the navigation quicker, everything like that. So I'll link that video underneath for you to make it even faster and work better. Brilliant. Before we leave, hit that subscribe button. Do drop me some thoughts underneath. And a quick word from one of our partners. If you are after a VPN, which works amazingly well, on a Android TV, NVIDIA Shield, Me Call Box, Google Chromecast. A brilliant VPN for that is IP Vanish. I will link that directly underneath for you as well. We've got a great bargain at $2.96 currently, um, and that is good. Great for your security, great for being stopped from being throttled, all that stuff. So I can't wait for you to check it out. Brilliant. I've been Doc Squiffy. This is the Doc Squiffy channel. Thank you all for watching. Hit that thumbs up, drop me your comments, and I'll see you on the next one.